my two previous videos, I've been describing altered states of consciousness. These are states we typically slip into and slip out of several times each day, often without even noticing it. I've also explained how these altered states are associated with a specific pattern of electrical activity in the brain. These are known as alpha waves. Alpha waves are most often associated with a sense of calmness, tranquility, relaxation, once in a meditative state of mind. In this video, I'm going to describe the first two of four training stages by which you'll be able to acquire the ability to enter a deep and sustained alpha state. The first stage is to prepare yourself by preparing your surroundings and then preparing your body physically. I'll describe the remaining two stages on my next video. And these will involve preparing yourself mentally to develop alpha and then practicing this training program successfully. At first, you'll probably notice it's easiest to practice in a quiet, perhaps slightly darkened room, which is sufficiently warm for you to remain largely inactive for approximately 15 minutes. Now, what about your surroundings? Research has shown that blue and green reduce blood pressure, lower heart rate and slow breathing. Now, while I'm certainly not suggesting you should redecorate your living room uh, in the way shown in these photographs, a few small areas of blue or green in the room on which you can focus your attention, such as a picture with a lot of blue or green in it, an ornament, or for green, a green plant, or a view across a, a garden with grass and leaves. Red, by comparison, has been shown to increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, and speed up breathing. So it's obviously a best avoided when you're training for alpha. In a later series of videos, I'm going to discuss the ways in which colors and our surroundings influence the emotions of both individuals and even large groups of people. They're quite fascinating. Now, what about music? Well, many studies have found that Baroque music, this is by uh, early 17th century composers, such as Handel, Bach, Corelli and Vivaldi, are especially helping, helpful to you when you're trying to relax. Vivaldi, incidentally, is known to have a wonderfully calming effect on small children and will often send a fretful baby off to sleep very rapidly. But again, musical preferences are very much a personal choice and some people can relax with, with very different types of music. I remember training a young man who was able to enter an alpha state very quickly and easily and he did this while he was listening to heavy metal played at a high volume. So it didn't relax me, but it relaxed him. So you should prepare for each session by avoiding alcohol, cigarettes, tea, coffee, or any other stimulants or sedatives which could affect your mind for at least an hour before practice. Now you'll find that with experience, it becomes possible to enter an alpha state under almost any circumstances, whether you're sitting or standing or walking or running. When you start out, however, it's easiest if you learn to become as physically and mentally relaxed as possible in relaxing surroundings. Now my research has shown that breathing, the way we breathe, is fundamental to the physical relaxation and production of alpha. I'd like you to take a look at a video which I made about 20 years ago demonstrating how by changing your breathing you can become more and more relaxed. Here in the consulting room we can actually demonstrate the relationship between breathing and levels of stress using biofeedback equipment. Well, this is equipment which measures what's going on inside the system and allows us to see it, in this case on a dial 
and also by a varying sound. So, Tony, if I could just demonstrate this, you could just give me your right hand for a moment. I'm going to put onto your palm uh, an electrode, and this is going to measure your level of physical arousal, which is associated with levels of stress. And when I switch it on, you'll see the needle start to move up the dial. Now, what I'd like you to do is to start breathing very rapidly, as though you're panicking, really hyperventilate. <sighs> now, instantly, thank you, that's fine. Instantly, the needle swings right the way around the dial. Now, as you start to relax a little, it comes back down again. If you'd like to breathe rapidly again, that's fine. We see the needle shoot up again. So controlling your breathing is one of the most basic ways in which you can control the amount of stress you're suffering. If you're interested in learning more about stress monitors, I suggest you take a look at some of the small but powerful devices which we develop for our website www.themindchangers.co.uk. One of the fastest ways of achieving a state of deep physical relaxation is by first tensing and then relaxing each of your major muscle groups in turn. In the video clip that follows, you'll see me taking a young client through the necessary exercises for relaxation and explaining how to put herself in the most comfortable position for relaxing. I start by offering some general advice about relaxation and I explain why, although it works extremely well in a majority of cases, there are some people, a few people, in which you can actually increase levels of anxiety. Before we start, a brief word of caution. For the vast majority of people, relaxation is both extremely pleasant and highly beneficial to both their physical and mental well-being. A few, however, experience discomfort due to a condition known as RIA, or relaxation-induced anxiety. As they attempt to relax and unwind, they become increasingly tense and anxious. If you find this happening to you, I suggest that you simply leave this procedure, at least for a while, and come back to it a little later. It may be that certain events going on in your life at the moment are causing your difficulties. Now, let's start the relaxation training. I would like you to follow my instructions as I take a client through the procedure. To do this, I'd like you to sit in a comfortable chair, one that offers you good support for your spine, or if you prefer, you can lie down on a bed or a couch or on the floor. I would like you to loosen any tight clothing, such as your belt or necktie, uncross your legs, and let your arms hang down at your sides. I want you to start by spending a few moments going through the major muscle groups and relaxing away any tension within them. So let's go into my clinic now as I talk a client through the procedure. Right, I'd like you to just lie back comfortably in the chair, put your arms at your side, and fold your fingers, and just stretch your feet out a little bit. That's lovely. And now just close your eyes. I'd like you to take a few deep breaths. Just breathe in very deeply. And breathe out. Now one more deep inhalation. Breathe in and relax. Feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. Feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. Now just one more very deep breath. Breathe in and relax. Feel your body becoming heavier and warmer as you sink more and more deeply into the chair. Feel all the stress and tension flowing away from your body with each exhaled breath. No stress or tension in your body. Very relaxed. Now we're going to go through each of the major muscle groups in turn and we're going to deliberately tense these and then relax them to help you learn the difference between tension and relaxation. So we'll start off with the muscles of your ankles and feet you tense these by pointing your toes. Do you point your toes, both toes, stretch, really stretch out, feel the tension in those muscles and feel it building and hold it and hold it. And relax, let your feet flop back down onto the floor. 
feel all the stress and tension flowing away from your feet and into the room. Feel your legs becoming heavier and more and more deeply relaxed and warmer and heavier and more and more deeply relaxed. And now we're going to tense the muscles of the hands. I'd like you to squeeze your hands together, make a fist. That's right, feel the tension in those muscles. Squeeze your hands really tightly together, really tight fist. Feel the tension building and relax and let your fingers uncurl and feel all the stress and tension flowing away from the muscles in your hand. body becoming more and more deeply relaxed and warmer and warmer. Now we're going to tense the muscles in the upper arms and to do this I'd like you to bend your arms back and try and touch your shoulders with your wrists. Really tighten those biceps. That's it. Feel the tension building up. Feel the tension and hold it and relax, let your arms flop down. Imagine that you're a puppet whose strings have suddenly been cut. There's no stress or tension in your arms or your hands. You're sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. You're feeling very warm and very relaxed, and very calm. And each time you breathe out, feel all the stress and tension flowing away from your body and into the room. Now we're going to tense the muscles of the shoulders. You do this by shrugging your shoulders. So shrug your shoulders out that really high and feel the tension building in those muscles. Hold it and hold it and relax and let your shoulders flop down and no stress or tension in those muscles. And notice the difference as you do so between stress and tension. And notice how it feels when your muscles are unwinding and becoming more and more deeply relaxed body is feeling warmer and heavier and more and more deeply relaxed. Now we're going to relax the muscles of the mouth and jaw. A lot of tension builds up in people's jaws. To do this I want you to press your tongue against your hard palate. Press it against the roof of your mouth, the tip of your tongue. Feel that tension building up in your mouth and hold it and relax and feel all the stress and tension flowing away from your body and each time you breathe out feel yourself becoming a little more deeply relaxed. Now we're going to stress the muscles of the stomach. Do this by tensing your tummy muscles as though you're expecting somebody to hit you in the stomach. Pull the muscles really tightly in Feel the tension building in those muscles and hold it and relax and feel all the stress and tension flowing away. And now I'd like you to tense the muscles of your chest. And you do this by taking and holding a deep breath. So breathe in very deeply, draw the air right into your chest and hold that tension and feel the tension in the muscles of your ribs and your shoulders and Relax and let all the air flow away from your body. And as you breathe out, feel all the stress and tension in your body flowing away into the room. You're feeling very deeply relaxed. Now just allow the chair to take all the weight of your body. Feel your shoulders relaxed, your arms relaxed, your hands and wrists are relaxed. Your legs are relaxed, your ankles are relaxed. Your face is relaxed. Let your brows smooth out, your eyelids are heavy, you're very, very deeply relaxed. And each time you breathe out, feel yourself becoming a little more deeply relaxed. Very calm and very relaxed. No more stress and tension in your body. Your body feels very warm and very relaxed. The air is flowing smoothly into and away from your body. You're very relaxed. Very relaxed. Now 
and now I'm going to count backwards from 5 to 1 and as I do so I want you to come back into this room 5 4 open your eyes 3 2 1 and when you stand up I want you to stand up slowly and carry this feeling of calm relaxation into your everyday life and any time you want to relax again just find somewhere where you can sit or lie down comfortably and go through the muscles as we did just now and first tense and then relax each of them in turn and feel all the tension flowing away from your body and teach your body to notice the difference between tension and relaxation and any time when you're going about your everyday life you feel a muscle tensing up unnecessarily then simply focus on that muscle and become more and more relaxed. In my next video I'll be describing ways of developing the most receptive mental attitude for developing alpha. Uh, you can do this by using visual imagery and what are called mandalas. I'll also suggest ways of avoiding or overcoming some of the possible setbacks which can occur during the early days of practice. I'll also be showing you a video of Matthew, the young Buddhist monk who I mentioned in the previous video and whose ability to generate alpha very quickly and then use it in quite remarkable ways very much impressed and surprised me. I hope if you found what I've had to say interesting then do please like this video, in fact that's very important. And if you want to be sure not to miss any of my own or hypnotherapist Dan Jones, my colleagues' videos, then do please subscribe. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.